Hello, kindergarten. Welcome back to my home and back to my library. I'm so happy that you chose to have story time with me again today because I've chosen another one of my favorite books. And you know what I always say, the best books are the ones that you read again and again and again. Now I can tell you for a fact, I have read this book more than a hundred times because you may remember when you see the cover of this book that this is the very first book that I knew I could read all by myself when I was in kindergarten, same age you are now. This story was written by Dr. Seuss, but on the cover, it does not tell us that the, Ill that the author is Dr. Seuss. It says the author is Theo Lassig. Now, Dr. Seuss was a very funny man, and he liked to use a lot of pretend names, kind of like you do when you're playing make-believe. So when you see a book written by Theo Lassig, you will know that the author is really Dr. Seuss using a pretend name. Are you ready to read with me? Sit back, get comfortable. Now I know you know most of the words, so read along. Here we go. 10 Apples Up on Top by Theo Lassig, illustrated by Roy McKee. Here's our title page. Once again, it says 10 Apples Up on Top by Theo Lassig, illustrated by Roy McKee. One apple up on top. Two apples up on top. you. I can do it too. Look, see, I can do three. Three, three, I see, I see. You can do three but I can do more. You have three, but I have four. Look, see now, I can hop with four apples up on top. And I can hop up on a tree with four apples up on me. Look here, you two. See here, you two. I can get five on top. Can you? I am so good, I will not stop. Five, now six, now seven on top. Seven apples up on top. I am so good, they will not drop. Five, six, seven, fun, fun, fun. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But see, we are as good as you. Look, now we have seven, too. And now, see here, eight, eight on top. Eight apples up, not one will drop. Eight, 
eight and we can skate. Look now, we can skate with eight. But I can do nine and hop and drink. You cannot do this, I think. We can, we can, we can do it too. See here, we are as good as you. We all are very good, I think. With nine, we all can hop and drink. Nine is very good, but then, come on and we will make it 10. Look, 10 apples up on top. We are not going to let them drop. See a mop. I will make the apples fall. Get out, get out, you one and all. Come on, come on, come down this hall. We must not let our apples fall. Out of our way, we cannot stop. We cannot let our apples drop. This is not good. What will we do? They want to get our apples too. They will get them if we let them. Come, we cannot let them get them. Look out, the mop, the mop, the mop. You cannot stop our apple fun. Our apples will not drop, not one. Come on, come on, come one, come all. We have to make the apples fall. They must not get our apples down. Come on, come on, get out of town. Apples, apples, up on top. All of this must stop, stop, stop. Now all our fun is going to stop. Our apples all are going to drop.
Ten apples on us all. What fun! We will not let them fall. Now I'm going to stop right here for a minute because not only are you awesome readers, you're really great mathematicians. And so if you know that every animal on this page has 10 apples on their head, then let's see if we can count by tens and find out how many apples there are all together. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's count right here, starting with the lion. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 110, 120. Can you believe there are 120 apples on this page? You guys did a wonderful job counting by tens. Let's look at the last page together. It's another wordless page, but I love this page so much. Look at all those friends. I wonder what they're thinking. Hmm. The end. Kindergarten, I just love reading this, this story with you again today. It was a lot of fun for me too. So, until we read again, I wish you a wonderful rest of your day.